Pretty and Javier are starring in a wonderful production of La Fille du Régiment. It's a heartwarming and funny story with a happy ending. It also includes some stratospheric bel canto singing, something these two handle with a plum. And here they are. Hi! Hello, Pretty! Hey, hey, Hello, hi. Javier! How are you? It's so great to see you guys. Thanks hey, for having us. Pretty, what is it like to sing high-flying coloratura while ironing and folding laundry? It's one of the most uh, interesting parts I've ever played because then I get a very good, you know, arm workout. It's exciting, it's energetic, and I'm so excited to bring this role at the Metropolitan Opera House. Oh, we're excited to see you. <laughs> and Javier, the famous aria you sing, A Mes Amis, with its nine high Cs, how thrilling is it to sing that on the stage of the Met? Well, first of all, hello, Mexico. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, uh, well, this is one of the, the areas I cherish most. Mm. That's uh, one of my, it was my debut role in Mexico, like 2004. And, uh, of course, uh, in, back then I was dreaming to someday to perform that here. That day is arriving, so I'm very, very happy and very excited about it. Well, when you sang the big tenor aria in another bel canto opera by Donizetti, Don Pasquale, the yeah. audience demanded an encore and they got it. Are you ready to sing an encore <laughs> of the aria with nine <laughs> high C's? Well, uh, uh, the public is always right, so if they demand it, <laughs> I know, I don't know. <laughs> well, pretty, to play the part of the daughter of the regiment, you have to have great comedic timing to go along with some incredible singing. What do you enjoy most about playing this role? I enjoy the, the, the sense of uh, spontane, uh, spontaneous that she has. She doesn't have a, a programmed kind of life. She lives freely and there's so much innocence in herself, which we see the difference between the first act and then when she actually goes to the second act. And I enjoy that human instinct that she has, the power and the energy. I call her Girl Almighty because she's raised with instinct and I enjoy that very much. And it helps somehow with the singing as well. I love that. <laughs> Pretty, yeah. this is such a fun and energetic production with a lot of stage business. How did you master the physical comedy? I have been very grateful that I have amazing colleagues and we've had amazing, <laughs> amazing time putting it together and so working out what works best. And we were just all there helping one another to make sure that we bring a show that is truly uh, special. And I'm very grateful to the team that always supports us. And so it's really been a teamwork and I'm very excited. You know, I'm getting to... excited even just listening to you. <laughs> yes. Now the two of you are singing together a lot this season, not just the Pearl Fishers here at the Met, in a couple of months, oh, a couple of months ago, but in Barcelona, Paris, Munich. What does this familiarity with a singing partner bring to your performances, Javier? Well, it is most of all the trust uh, between each other. I mean, we have a lot of, of respect for each other as uh, colleagues, as, as a persons, as, as friends. So this is also makes everything easier because then you have this uh, easiness of just saying, you know, I think it would be better if you move a little bit like this or, you know, at, at the end, as, as Pretty was saying, it's really the opera itself is a teamwork and, uh, and it's great when you have this, uh, uh, this confidence with, uh, with your team uh, workers. Well, I team feel this singers. chemistry already <laughs> and I'm thrilled. We are so excited and can't wait for La Fille de Regiment on March 2nd. Thanks so much with, for speaking with me today. No, thank, thank you. Bye, <laughs>